Welcome back to Peace, Love and Tarot. This reading is for Taurus, Sun, Moon and Rising and it's the weekly reading for the week of July 15th to the 21st. Your cards this week, Taurus, energies leaving, completing or transitioning. You have the Nine of Pentacles. Focus energies this week, you have the Three of Wands, clarified with the Page of Wands and you have the Four of Wands coming in towards the end of the week. So Taurus, look at all these bright sunny cards. I love this. You know, lots of um, positivity here. And, you know, this is a reading of expansion, of expansion. And, you know, after a period of, you know, putting in the work, the work and the hard yards, you know, we're really starting to see, um, we're really starting to see some fruition here. We're really starting to see your ships come in. So I absolutely love that. So Taurus, energy is leaving, completing or transitioning. We have two cards here that jumped out together. We have the eight and nine of pentacles so look you know this is really you you know we're going from an eight to a nine here so this is you really sort of mastering mastering your skills and building your abundance building your independence your self-sufficiency i think it's been a long journey for you you know pentacles are slow moving energy and here we find ourselves at the eight and the nine so we're at the later stages of the pentacles so over time, and I'm not just talking about over the, the week because this is a weekly reading, but over the years even, you've been chipping away, you know, carving out your pentacles, doing the work, the work on yourself, the, the study, whatever it is, to get yourself into the position that you really wanted to be in your life. You know, it could be, you know, working and studying and um, taking on jobs and climbing the career ladder and, you know, achieving that kind of abundance in your life. So then, you're in the position to, you know, settle down and find a loving relationship. Maybe you've done it that way around. Or this could be you, you know, actually, I know we have um, Pentacles energy here, but it could be you actually working on your own self-development, you know, and getting yourself into a position where you feel abundant and self-actualized. So now you're in a position to broaden your horizons, to, you know, take on new opportunities and maybe turn your focus to things like love instead. You know, we see someone in the Nine of Pentacles who, after all that hard work of, you know, chipping away and working and studying and whatever it is, um, you know, we see the abundance coming in quite easily now. You've built that. You've built that with your own hands and the tools that you had at your disposal. And we see you moving into a position where, you know, you do have the things that you want and you're getting into a position in your life where, you know, you have the resources you feel independent and, you know, you just feel um, self-sufficient. And that's a really beautiful place to be in here. So this week, as your focus energies, you have the three of wands clarified with the page of wands. So this is all about expansion here, um, you know, Taurus. It's really about broadening of your horizons. I really think it's, you know, after this period of, you know, head down and hard work and, you know, just really trying to achieve those earthly goals in your life. Now you're sort of thinking, well, what's next? You know, you're really standing on that horizon and go, where should I put my energy in action next? You know, wands is the suit of, of inspiration, of power, of spirituality, of action. So I really think it's you sort of turning your attention to the other realms in your life and, you know, really sort of wanting to take on new challenges, challenges that will um, broaden your horizons and provide that expansion in a different direction. And I think that direction that you do want is something um, of matters of the heart, of building a home life with somebody. That's clarified here with the Page of Wands. Now, the Page of Wands, you know, again, is about that sense of, um, you know, adventure, rediscovering, you know, those qualities in yourself, those qualities of passion, of enthusiasm, you know, stepping through a portal into another reality. And, you know, through doing that, that's when ships will come in, but not necessarily the, the ships that have come in in a physical material abundance sense that have in the past, but new ships, you know, maybe ships of love, ships of inspiration, ships of spirituality, whatever this thing is that you're going to focus on. 
I feel like you're really exploring that this week and becoming coming inspired in a different direction, opening yourself up in a different way, really under that number three energy to create something else, to create a new future. And here we see us going from a three of wands to a four of wands towards the end of the week. So, you know, really sort of um, deciding what that may be um, that you want to put your energy into that's going to bring in some real happiness for you. And that happiness could be, like I said, in the home realm, in the relationship, committed relationship, you know, finding that sense of happiness, finding your home, coming back home to yourself. It's a really beautiful energy. I really feel that for me, this particular page of wands, cups, cups, <laughs> we don't have any cups here. Um, this, this reminds me of cups energy just because of the, yeah, the amount of fulfillment and love in it. But um, page of wands for me, this particular card is about stepping through into another portal towards a happier, brighter future. And I think that's where your, you know, the foundations that you're laying, the decisions that you make, um, in particular this week are starting to shift you towards that light you know you're really sort of turning and stepping through into a different reality shifting your focus and um, what's through there for you is you know much greater happiness and that um, the four of wands has the 1111 formation too which many people say is um, you know a portal as well um, a manifestation portal um, so we can say here that there is the energy for setting those intentions this week. Uh, so there could also be some synchronistic uh, events that happen. You might see something, you know, words on a number plate, a sign, hear song lyrics or something like that that's going to um, in some way, uh, you know, pre present an opportunity for you or inspire you in some way. And I think if that happens, you should follow that because um, you do have some strong sort of um, synchronistic energy in your reading here this week. So a real shift of focus for you Taurus, it's all successful, it's all light, bright and sunny and uh, it'll be very interesting to see how this unfolds for you. So keep in mind Taurus, this is a general reading, it won't resonate with every Taurus out there but it will for some of you um, and that's who it's meant for and we'll see you for another reading next week.